TBC What's the Deal. So I'm on BoxingScene.com. I will leave this link in the description box. And you guys can click on it and look at these uh, press conference photos and read these little quotes from the press conference. But uh, both guys have been extremely uh, respectful and seem they also seem very confident that, you know, they're going to win this fight. But they've been respectful to each other and been confident about uh, what they believe they're going to do in the ring on fight night. So nothing really crazy happened at the press conference. You know, there's no uh, Tyson Fury or uh, David Hay or Shannon Briggs type of personalities in a, uh, this type of press conference. But uh, it's going to be an exciting fight. I still think it's going to be an exciting fight. Um, the world's going to be watching, man, because we know Pavekin and Wilder was supposed to happen. and uh, But uh, this fight has moved up to... The fight that everybody's going to be watching. But something that uh, really caught my attention the other day. I was listening to Kevin Barry, the trainer of uh, the young fella, Joseph Parker. And he was talking about how his team turned down. Or how Team Parker, and he was the one that wanted to do it. Was turned down two fights with Carlos Takam last year. And I've came out with videos um talking about guys that have turned down a fight with Joseph Parker, guys that uh, didn't want to, did not want to go to New Zealand to fight him. Guys like uh, Edmund Gerber, Arnold Jarekjai, uh Shannon Briggs. Now, this is according to Team Parker. Um, a few other guys, Lucas Brown. Uh, there's a few other guys that turned down fights with him. Alexander Demetrenko was another guy. This according to his team, okay? But what I didn't know is Parker's team turned down two fights with Carlos Taco. Now, all this is according to Kevin Barry. And he just said that he didn't think that JP was ready to fight Taco. But it's just funny because they wanted fights against a lot of other guys. Ariola was another guy they said turned on a fight. Um, It's just funny. It was like, what was it about Carlos Taco that you guys didn't want to fight him? opposed to all the other guys who you said turned down fights with you so obviously there was something there is something that his trainer mr barry that he sees in takam i don't know you know so just as a fan it just makes me think a little bit now with this fight uh and again you know it's it's not like this is a they turned on a fight with takam four years ago i mean this is literally less than 12 months ago that they turned on a fight for to fight this guy but Kevin Barry said that uh, circumstances have changed. Uh, a title shot is on the line. So he feels as if uh, that Parker has to take it. And he said that now he feels as if Parker is ready. So I'm assuming that uh, after the fight with Jason Bergman, he feels that uh, Joseph Parker is ready to move on to bigger challenges and uh, he can defeat Carlos Takam now. You know, so and this is so I'm just going off of what he said. You know, I'm not making this stuff up, man. So I wonder what it is that he truly uh sees in Parker or what he sees in Takam that they can exploit now that they couldn't exploit last year on two different occasions. You know, but at the end of the day, no matter what Kevin Barry thinks, Parker's the one's gonna have to get in there. He has very fast hands, he's powerful, he's light on his feet. Um there are some things that I want to see him do more in the ring, which I've went over in other videos, like work his jab. I know he visited um, the Eastern Assassin, Larry Holmes, and Larry Holmes visited with him a few times and was showing him different ways to use the jab and utilize it. So hopefully he can take some of that and he use some of that in his training camp and uh, he'll use it in the ring. But he had very, very fast hands, a very fast right hand. That right hand that he dropped... Uh, Luis Nascimento with it was very fast when he dropped him against the ropes that was a very fast right hand but I'm just curious you know I'm just curious to see how this is going to play out though man I know bet nods he is a favorite I believe he is close to a four to one favorite in this fight Joseph Parker is at home the young guy got the momentum behind him but um just listening to his trainer, you know, that that comment that he said that they turned down two fights. And I didn't even know they turned down fights with Takam. I was always just hearing about guys that were, you know, reportedly turning down fights with them. 
as far as going out to New Zealand. And you can, and a lot of people were saying there's no money out there. That's why they were turning around the fight. Some people were saying they didn't want to get knocked out. That's why they were turning on the fight. But um, it's just funny to hear that news that Parker actually turned down the fight with somebody. Um, and this fight's a week away against a guy who he's going to fight less than a, or yeah, a week away here, less than a week. So, but again, none of this is going to mean anything on fight night. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see what the outcome's going to be, and then we'll talk about it later. But uh, both guys, they're going to have to get on the ring and fight anyway. So, just getting this out there. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do do you think hey, really doesn't matter what Kevin Barry thinks, or do you think hey man, there's there's something there I didn't notice. You know, so just getting it out there, though. YTBC, I'm out.